I've always been interested in astronomy. It's a great big place out there and I was quite interested in the stars. We began to hear from the director that the Apollo 11 project was going ahead and that uh, Parks would take part in the project. Nothing like that had ever happened before. I was the deputy station director at Honeysuckle Creek in uh, 1969 and we had what was called Apollo 7, 8, 9 and 10 all manned spacecraft and we were actively involved in all those missions. They happened at two month intervals so you could hardly take a breath. Well it was just uh, another day. We might have been a little bit nervous but uh, there wasn't much time for that. We were aware that it would be quite a momentous thing that was going to happen but uh, mainly each one of us was responsible for something and we were concerned that we didn't want that to go wrong and spoil the, the whole project. I didn't want the receiver to break down and uh, we get no signal at all. We had done a lot of planning of what ifs, plan B, plan C, plan D. The director at the time said, Perhaps our biggest weakness is the weather. If we get a very severe storm and very high winds, then we'd no longer be able to keep tracking. And that's what went wrong. A big storm came up. We had the telescope trip right down to its, its horizon. The tower was shaking and we were anxious. Two gusts of 110 kilometres an hour actually struck the dish, creating a lot of concern for the people inside. For, I don't know, 10, 20 seconds while I was coming down the ladder, no one was saying anything. You were keeping an eagle eye on everything else uh, in case something played up. And we're getting a picture on the TV. We start to get this signal. It was pretty exciting to see it actually had happened. You know, the, this figure had come down the ladder and put his foot on the moon and made his little speech. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. We didn't really know what to expect and uh, it came out with a fairly uh, strong contrast between the, the brightness of the moon's surface and the darkness of the uh, sky, but uh, we saw enough. Network that parked. Roger, Capcom, reminder. A lot of us thought at that time and still think we were lucky enough to be in the, the right place at the right time. Uh, it was the sort of highlight of my career. I think the largest contribution that Apollo has made has been the enormous enthusiasm it encouraged in school children at the time and young people towards science and technology and engineering. When I talk to people today, it's amazing the number of people who are engineers or who I meet professionally who say, I became an engineer or I became a scientist because I sat in my classroom and I watched Neil Armstrong walk on the moon and it made me want to be part of that. It made me want to be involved in science and technology. And I think that's absolutely priceless. There might have been a few cheers, I think. I went down outside and looked up at the telescope and I thought to myself, well, that's pretty amazing. There's some men up there on the moon and we helped put them there. 